Hi, and welcome back to another one of my saltwater aquarium videos. This is Robert Gerritsen, and tonight I am going to be showing you how to save a little bit of money in this trade, this hobby. Um, you know, things get a little expensive from time to time, um, whether you're buying a new coral, a new piece of equipment, or even just starting out get a little pricey so today I want to show you how you can save a few extra dollars um, that way you can put it in to that new coral or new fish that you want for your tank and one of my cost saving um, things that I do for my tank especially for my bio cube is I make my own filter cartridges when you buy the filter cartridges made for the bio cube um, they're around eight to ten dollars for two of them um, they have carbon in them, um, and I don't usually run carbon in my tanks unless I have to, so this is a nice way of um, be able to keep your water clear, but also save you some money. So what I have done is I've taken a BioCube cartridge here, and I've had this one a while as you can tell, um, and I cut the filter media out of it and then as you can see put it against somewhere where I can get a better view there's spacers in between and each one of these little sections here is where carbon was and I just cut those spacers out so that way I can fit my own filter pad and then the filter pad you can just get any type but right here I have um, a new bag of marine land right size bonded filter pad and uh, works pretty good I also have another brand I'm not sure what this is um, pretty much the same stuff um, and works pretty good so then after I've cut the bio cube filter cartridge here oh, and then cut me a section of the filter pad that is a little bit bigger than the cartridge itself and then you can just put it in there fits in nice and snug and there you go there is a filter cartridge for the bio cube and then yeah. you can set it in to your chamber I have to kind of mess with mine a little bit because I also have the heater in there in my first chamber and uh, there you go does a pretty good job it keeps my, I, my tank pretty clean and then sometimes you know if you're trimming or whatnot you'll get little excess little pieces like this and what I've done in the second chamber is I've put some extra filter media in there for kind of a extra fining of the water and because I've stirred around and you know taken out my filter cartridge um, for this video tank's gotten a little cloudy but it'll here soon clear up as everything passes through that filter and make my tank pretty again um, and that's the only kind of modifications really that I have done with my bio cube uh, everything is bone stock to my lighting um, everything in the tank I even still have the nozzle there you can see through the, the cloud from the filter and uh, I even still run the bio balls in the second chamber there's a nice down shot to my bio cube um, if you have any questions or comments on making your own filters for filter cartridges for 
your aquarium or even for the bio cube you can leave a comment below or you can reach me on Facebook at Robert's Aquarium page and as always you can subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching another one of my saltwater aquarium videos and I hope this helps you save up for the next coral or fish and I guess I better go because this guy is ready for some dinner. Thank you for watching.